Welcome back guys. So today, I'm going to show you a process of how I made this propane burner. It took um, quite a bit of trial and error, but I actually finally perfected the design. And I'm going to show you how I made it. All right, real quick before we start the video, I want to give a little overview on the burner. So this is a Venturi burner, which is a burner which does not need forced air. So the idea behind the burner is that we will be sending high pressure propane through the tube, which will exit through this nozzle right here at a high velocity. This high velocity will cause a low pressure inside this tube, which will then cause the oxygen from the surrounding to get sucked in through these holes, mixing through the pipe and coming out as a hot flame. So that's the idea we're gonna try to do in this video. Right, so let's start off with making the nozzle. This is where the propane will be exiting at a high velocity. So the idea is that we wanna create a small hole at the end of our tube so that the propane will exit at a high velocity. So I went to my local hardware store and bought a brass coupling, a square head plug, and a 3 8 inch flare to quarter inch mip. So the idea is to take this square head plug and drill a small hole in it. To drill this small hole, I chose a drill bit the size of 0.03 inches. This is one of the smallest drill bits I had and should be small enough such that the propane will exit at a high velocity. I'll show you later on in the video what we're going to be using these machine screws for. So I put the drill bit into our drill press. I securely mounted our square head plug and I began to try to drill our small hole. But as I was drilling, suddenly, the drill bit decided to break. Luckily, when it broke, it didn't break that deep and I was able just to carefully pull it out. I put in a brand new drill bit and tried to drill again. And again, the drill bit broke. But this time, it broke deep inside of the plug. I tried to use some strong neodymium magnets to pull it out, but it wouldn't come out. I then tried drilling the drill bit out from the other side using a larger drill bit, but I wasn't able to cut through the drill bit. In the end, I decided to get my angle grinder and just cut the drill bit out. Beautiful. This worked well, and we were left with a slightly larger hole than we wanted. Even though it was a little bit larger, we decided to go and test it anyway. So I went and I grabbed the steel pipe and I cut it about 8 inches long. This is the pipe that we're going to use for the body of our burner. So I began to now hook up all the parts that I got. I hooked up the regular to the propane tank. I connected our nozzle to our gas hose and the gas hose to the regulator. For now, we're just going to put the nozzle inside the pipe as a test to see if it actually works. I adjusted the regulator, turned on the gas, and lit it up. And oh boy, did it light. But there was one problem. It wasn't working. The gas was not burning at the end of the tube. Instead, it was burning inside. So we decided to turn it off and continue working on the nozzle. To fix the nozzle, I decided to use contact tips. These are 0.03 inch welding contact tips. These are just about the same size as the drill bit that we originally wanted to drill the hole with but it should be easier to install because we can use a bigger drill bit to drill a hole to insert this into the nozzle. So I went and I drilled a hole just about the same size as the end of our MIG tip into our brass plug. This should also be big enough. Man, we have a lot of brass block left in there. Oh yeah, 
Okay, this should this should thread in. All right, let's try to thread it in. Let's get let's let's see. I went and I filed the hole just a tad bit bigger to make sure that we had a nice snug fit. After that, we soldered the tip on. I applied some flux onto the MIG tip and onto the brass plug, and I used my stove to heat it up. Once it was hot, I added a little bit of solder, and it went right in. Soldering it together was quite easy. So. Once our tip was done, we decided to test it again. We placed it back into our pipe and we lit it up. And to our disappointment, it still didn't work. As we were testing it, we realized our pressure regulator was not actually working. And we thought that this might actually be the problem. It turns out that the pressure regulator was not the problem even though it wasn't working. So our next thought was that maybe the nozzle needed to be centered and at the end of the burner should be smaller. So we went and we decided to use our machine screws that we bought to center the nozzle. These machine screws we're going to put into the pipe to hold the nozzle in the center. So we measured the diameter of our pipe. And we used a little bit of math to calculate where we want to place the three machine screws. We marked this spacing on a piece of duct tape and then wrapped it around the pipe. This is where we're going to be drilling our holes for the machine screws. We drilled the holes in the pipe and we did a test fit. They line up great. We then went and welded on the nuts to the pipe. This is so that the screws will stay in place. Even though I'm not a great welder, these welds still seem to come out pretty nice. Alright, so now it's time to do our next modification, is to reduce the pipe size. I went out and bought a 1 inch steel pipe plug and a 1 inch pipe. It turns out that this 1 inch steel plug would fit perfectly inside of our larger pipe. This is what we will use to adapt it. So to do this, we cut off the end of our steel plug. After we cut it off, we cleaned it up and then welded it onto our main pipe.
called a choke that we have too much there, so I want to go a giant 3 8 inch hole modification to our burner. It's going to suck in more air, which should then ensure that hopefully we get a hotter flame. All right. So After that, we it. went and drilled a few extra holes oh, into the pipe, here. hoping that it will go and suck in more air, creating a hotter flame. Alright, so before we test it, let's just take a quick look at the final configuration. Alright, so now it's time to test it. This time, instead of a regulator, we decided to use a needle valve. This seemed to actually work quite well. And it finally was working. The flame was finally burning at the end of the tip and not inside the burner. The gas was sucking in oxygen and burning hot. As a test, we decided to melt some aluminum. And it melted aluminum. We even tried to melt some lava rock. And to my surprise, it was able to melt lava rock. Lava rock melts at around 2200 degrees Fahrenheit. So this was quite a surprise. So yeah, there we have it. With a little trial and error, we were able to finally make a propane burner and upgrade our foundry.